www.newtoboss.com. My name is Ty. We're still doing a video series, or I mean video tutorial series for Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. And this time what I'd like to show you is a uh, process and how you could remove the video and just export audio out using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Uh, let me just state maybe cases why you'd want to do that. Probably you'd want to use the audio file of a certain movie of a certain video clip you'd want to use that extracted because you're going to overlay that to a different video but you're limited to first removing that as a separate mp3 or a separate uh, mp4 uh, or h264 file different containers so what you want to do is launch your premiere first and also do look up for a file Okay, uh, in our case, we're going to use whoop, here. Sometimes that's video sample MOV. You can use whatever container that you have in there. MP, oh, not MP3, but MP4, AVI, excuse me, and some others. Uh, what's about to burp? Okay, yeah, so go to new project right here and type in some that says uh, audio. That's, I was thinking of something else. Audio only. Uh, copy that because you're gonna need that. Just leave all this as is. Don't worry about that. If you if you want to know what all these means, uh, you could look up for some of the videos that we have on our channel. We have a separate tutorial for that. Click on OK. Then go to uh, go back to your file. Right click over that. Click on Properties so you can verify the frame rate click on details you got general security details uh, go to frame rate 1280 frame height 720 so I can't use full HD on this because it's just a 720p video so I'm gonna use this 720p folder alright then bring it down but I still have to choose what do I choose from there frame rate 29 frames per second right here but here it says 24, 50, 60. You don't have the option for 29. Just stick down to 24. Click on that. Then sequence name, paste from your clipboard. That's going to be your video name or your output name. I mean, but 24, uh, 50, 60. Again, your video doesn't match because you're using 29.97 frames. But if you click on OK, it's going to give you a workspace. Uh, go back to your file, click, hold, drag, release, and it's going to say mismatch. That means that 29 and 24 doesn't match, but Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 is asking you if he can do something about it, like fix that. Yes, you'd want to do change the sequence settings, and it's already matched. You got video one, audio one. Again, we would want to do remove the video. Right, just extract the audio. Let's do it fast. Click on this. If you do, let's try dragging that. Let's see if we can pull the audio out. We can't, right? Because it's been linked together. Click on that so you could highlight. You will notice that both video one and audio one has been highlighted or is being highlighted. Right click on that. You got something that says unlink. Click on unlink and highlight back see that it won't highlight both anymore but just one piece either the video or let me make it bigger or the audio again remember the plan was just to have audio and not the video click on that delete and you're left with just an audio also there's another uh, option for that control Z bring it back you got something that's uh, uh, that looks like a yellow line right here. If you bring it down to zero, then you don't have video anymore. Or bring it back. Go to a, a file right here. Go to export media. Whatever you choose in here. Just click on uh, export video. Excuse me. Uh, but you don't have video anymore in here. All right, but again, it's an AVI. You just have to export the audio. So those are three ways. Again, first is to delete 
sorry, to delete the video right here, or to bring down uh, this linear uh, yellow bar right here. Bring it down. I don't know what it's called. And um, or you could go to File, Export Media. Then you could uncheck Export Video. It says no preview available because you're not going to export video anymore. But you have to use uh, different containers. You could select from here. You got format. Bring it down to all those right there. Uh, normally, if you're trying to export audio, of course you don't want to use video containers like AVI, H.264, uh, FOV, QuickTime. You don't want to use that, but you don't want to use an audio container. Uh, normally, you would do AAC right here or MP3. So for now, let's do MP3. But if you want something lighter, you could do AAC right there. But MP3 for now. Then MP3, you got your bit rate right here. You could change that to a bit higher, but just stick to 128. It's gonna be okay. Then you can select channels. You could do mono. You could do stereo. Then quality high. You could do that. But again. If you go back right here, it's going to turn custom. So you you would want to do that if you'd want to make advanced settings. But if you click back on 128, it's going to do back the settings that it's got preset for 128. So next step would be just to click on export. Click on export, then your MP3 file is being processed right now. So there you go. You just have to look up your MP3 file to whatever folder it you've had it saved then you're good to go yeah my name is Ty we do want to thank you for watching the video and please do subscribe to our channel and visit our website www.newdeboss.com check back soon thanks for watching